Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody, meet again with me Riza Muzaski at Fast Fun English at Smash. Well everybody, I hope at this chance you're still in good condition, you have a happy life, even the condition you know that uh, we are not in a safe place when we are outside. So we do and the online learning when you are at home you can watch my video on youtube so uh, i think it is a good way to to transfer the lessons from me to you and we learn together about english well as you see on the screen directly because uh, this is the first time of you learning english with me so I would like to introduce myself. My name is Rizam Zagi. I am an English teacher. I also as the vice that, uh, and then uh, I would like to show you about the material in the first semester about the English in a trans interest. So. Uh, you can see from the screen that there is a title show me your id it means that uh we'll let to discuss about uh try, would like to discuss about something a topic that relating with the id identity relating with the identity okay so here uh show me your id it is taught in the X or 10 trans interest class or we can say in Indonesia lintas minat class lintas minat so the first of all I would like to show you 3.1 here saying about the cognitive skill or it is relating with uh, your knowledge your uh, ability or your skill in understanding of the lesson and 4.1 is the psychomotor scale relating with the physics activity. Well, students, uh, to make you more clear about the lesson, I would like to give you the next stage. Well, in the next stage, um, show you about the contents of basic competence of cognitive skill 3.1 the contents is comparing social function generic structure and language feature some of specified text in filling form used in a company or bank or other agencies by asking and giving information dealing with self-identity and relevant information based on the context of its use then next, um, I also give you a following 4.1 for 4.1 basic contents of Sigma Mother Scale. The contents is capturing the contextual meaning of social function, jury structure, and language features of the text in a feeling form used in the company, bank, other agencies by asking and giving information dealing with self-identity and relevant information based on the context of its use. So it's clearly understood that today, in this chance, in the first, in the very first chance uh, in SMAS, you learn, we learn about the form, how to fulfill the form. So there are two goals that you should achieve in the lesson. The first in 3.1, you should be able to compare between some uh, forms that I will show you and then the 4.1 in sigma scale ask you to be able to capturing the contextual meaning of social function especially in the form now we go to the next layer about the indicators of 3.1 indicators mean as uh, the stage or the steps of you 
to achieve the goals in 3.1 basic contents cognitive skill number one identify so before you cut before you can compare between some forms you should first know to do the first to do is identify social function to structures and learning features of form filling and then number two after you identify you understand the contents of a kinds of form and then the third comparing comparing between jury structures language features found in some of form filling number four finding out the journal description completing detailed information writing form filling and then the last is completing form filling that is the indicator of 3.1 now let me show you about form exactly this is the example of the form bank registration at the, at the very very up of this part of the form is name of the bank so when when there is a uh, phrases saying name of the bank you should put the name of a bank that you need to register and then it's followed by context telling detail of the, the bank and so on so i give you the explanations on the right side of the form what what is exactly form it is stated that form is a document printed or electronic with spaces in which we can write or enter the data and then function of the form itself is to convey data or short detailed information for a certain purpose and for the kinds of form there are many kinds of form the first is a purchase form and the second is order form the third withdrawal form the fourth deposit slip the fifth reservation form the sixth medical form and so on so many kinds of form you can find when you enter the first time in SMAS you are asked or I ask you to fulfill the form online that's called as also the form and then the next is I give you a parts of form explore me means that I will show you how to explore the informations in the form so I give an example here taken from Bank of America it is stated there a non-federal direct deposit enrollment request form and then there's the directions for customer use it is called as heading the heading so the heading is non-federal direct deposit enrollment request from a uh, request for authorization agreement for automatic deposits AH, ACH credits that's called the heading and then about the direction for customer use it is called an introduction so introduce for the customer how to fill in the form how to uh, maybe uh, to complete this and then how to check this by cross or maybe by tick uh, it is stated in the introduction and then after that it is the instruction the instructions of of the form it should be like this and be like that and then so on after that the body the body is consisting of uh, the informations of your self-identity and the last the close is giving the additional information for the customer maybe there is a left information or maybe there is something not stated yet above so you give information if you need if you need some more information uh, you can call this number or something like that that's called the close of the form well students now i give this next stage of kinds of form well this I, sh oh, I show you the first there are some kinds of form this is uh, this form is usually uh, given to the person when he has problem in in driving it is taken from uh, India officers look at this 
applicable for option A only. Option A is recovery status of stolen vehicle. So when when in India there is somebody's lost his bike or motorcycle, he should fulfill this form vehicle inquiry request. This from police police station. And then for the next is Queen Spring Schools. Exactly, this is from school. Application for admission means that when you enter the schools, like when you enter in SMA 1 Kediri, so the application for admission needs to fulfill. And then next is HNB Internet Banking. So this application taken from bank. Okay, and then, then from University Oxford International, the Montfort University National Colleges. This is from University, the title, there is a nationality, family name. Can you read it? That's too small, okay. It's okay, I give you an explanation in detail. And then the city of town and also postcode, country, home telephone, mobile telephone. So, and then the last is application form when you like to apply for a job maybe or you like to apply for something uh, you need this application so this is like you need the application form you this is uh the, the form this is the the form of that form and um so among of these forms that i introduced to you or i explained to you they have different in the structure there is heading there is introduction there is a body and also the clause but uh, the contents of the body they have no similar contents it depends on the the inst institutions that make this form and then the last i like to show you also the kinds of form as well as the last of stage here there are two forms taken from the first taken from uh, where is it yeah, from overseas yeah of course because this is in, in, in English English uh, in English language and then also as well as this is US individual income tax return so this is called uh, this is this form is used for somebody who has something problem with the tax and then uh, he should fulfill this too to make the text clear well students that is the example of the form kinds of form maybe still there are many kinds of forms outside uh, except uh, beside what i explained to you uh, maybe you can search for it by yourself well students uh, for the next activity is watch me here i show you uh, the condition of somebody is having a problem with something and then he should fill the form from the, the clerk or maybe the secretary receptionist. Welcome to EF Pod English. Brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Pre Intermediate 47. Filling in forms. Hello, how can I help you, sir? Hi, I'm a foreign teacher, and my manager told me that I need to get a card or something. Um, I work here in Osaka, and I need it for my job. Yes, or non-Japanese nationals must make an application for alien registration within 90 days of arrival in Japan. I was given instructions on how to apply. Uh, could you refresh my memory on the procedure? Okay, I'll need to see your passport, invitation letter from the Japanese government, birth certificate, bank cards, and some recent passport photos. Hmm. Uh, my application was rejected last time because my passport was being processed by the police station. Is this a problem? There is no penalty for reapplying for the card. If you have all the information, we can begin the procedure right away. Hmm. No problem. There you go. You should remember that you must carry this card with you at all times. When a policeman or other public official requests to see your alien registration card, you are obliged to show it. Hey, uh, this is all in Japanese. What do I fill out on this line? 
This here is where you write your family name or surname. Oh, uh, I don't have a home phone number. What do I fill out here then? You can fill in a cell phone number or the number of the place where you are staying. Okay. Uh, what does this mean? <laughs> Well, okay, that is of the explanation about the form itself. So the assessment is that uh, I need you to to make the form. I need you to make the form. Suppose that as you are the, the the manager of an an institution or maybe the manager of a factory, you make a form and then you fulfill by yourself. Of course, in English. Uh, you may type it, you may write it down on a piece of paper, it's okay. But one important thing that your assessment should be submitted in the assessment book. So today, I only give you one assessment to submit in the assessment book. I think that's all for the lesson in, in introducing kinds of form. So, uh, I hope that uh, you can join in another chance, in another lesson, and also in another condition. So I hope that you're still in a cold head, keep your health, keep your spirit in learning, and keep your happy. Have a nice day. See you next on the meeting. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Still in the channel. Fast, fun, English, at smash.